The Kingdom Hearts Union Cross fan event and Dandelion meeting were a huge success for Square Enix and Disney. Quite a bit of news came out of the event also that I'm going to cover over the next few videos. Today I will be covering one of the bigger pieces of news to come out of the event and that is the Game & Watch feature Kingdom Hearts 3 will be adding. There was lots of mixed feelings about this because lots of people were expecting a full blown gameplay and cutscene trailer. I'd be completely lying to you if I said I wasn't. I'm not at all upset about what we got though, I was probably more excited than most people were for this. Regardless though, we'll talk more about that as we get into the video. Ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, my name is Prodigy and welcome to my in-depth discussion about Kingdom Hearts 3's Game & Watch footage. Enjoy. Hey, really quick guys, if you have not already or are new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon so you will never miss another video again. Thank you and enjoy. Starting off with the footage, I just want to say Twilight Town looks gorgeous. The town center is very different compared to how it looked in Kingdom Hearts 2. I love this new look for Twilight Town though, and look at those NPCs. I don't know if this is just for a cutscene or what, but it makes me happy seeing that worlds aren't just empty. Oh, and I almost forgot, Hainer, Pence, and Olette now have new outfits. Seems like we've been gone from Twilight Town for a while and they definitely look older. I do want to point out though, if you were in my stream, shout out to you, Multilife, point out to me the shot here that seems to be completely new, kind of. Well, let me explain. This shop beforehand was an accessory shop where you want to go get armor to up your stats in Kingdom Hearts 2. What I do see in this sign here is very different from the previous sign, even though it does have some of the same objects hanging below it. What I do see in the sign is a block, which 100% looks like a gummy block. This thing, which could be a gummy piece also, I have no clue. A crayon, which I think represents customization. I can't tell what this blue thing is. My thoughts are that this is either a gummy chip shop, which is not entirely impossible, or just a customization shop in general. Nonetheless, this area is very interesting, and I love the way New Twilight Town looks. Now, let me sit down and try to explain to you why I love this Game & Watch feature in Kingdom Hearts 3. Do I expect to play this in Kingdom Hearts 3 a ton? Maybe post game, or if I've done everything in the game. Lots of people do not care about this, and I don't expect them to. But I don't think people should dislike this feature also, because they wanted some big gameplay and cutscene trailer, which I'm seeing a lot of in the community right now. We should all appreciate things like this being added in the Kingdom Hearts 3, I feel. The more things that are in the game, the more options there are for things to do while we're playing. This only adds to the Kingdom Hearts 3 experience in my eyes. I appreciate small things like this. In video games, something they did not have to do at all, but they did, and I actually love it. This tells me they're having a ton of fun with Kingdom Hearts 3, and when they're having fun, it just makes me even more excited to play the game. Tell me, what do you think of this short trailer? Do you like the Game & Watch feature, or do you not? Let me know in the comment section below. Why you remember to do that, also remember to leave a like. It tells me that you enjoyed today's video and would like to see more. Share the video with a friend or a family member. It only helps spread my content to others, and it will help us grow even more. It doesn't matter where you share also. It can be in a Discord server, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or to a friend or family member via text message it all helps a ton then finally if you want to become a part of this union all you have to do is subscribe we're a little less than 20 subs away from 800 and i would really love to reach that very soon thanks to everyone who's been supporting my channel it means the world to me it really does i love the fact that i'm a person you guys go to to get that dose of kingdom hearts content seriously thank you my name is prodigy and i'll see you guys next video peace out